This episode of the Sloopcast is brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium, small batch, roast to order, veteran owned coffee company right in your own hometown of Perrysburg, Ohio. Fair trade certified and USDA organic. Uh, some of the great products that they have is the Ride or Die. It's a medium blend, it's a gentle, distinctive version of the classic American breakfast cup. Brazilian yellow bourbon coffee bean with superb smoothness and flavor. Want something a little darker? Why not the good old Thor, the thunder and lightning that will course through your veins, bleed black. Be sure to check out those and much, much more over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is ironbeancoffee.com, America's local coffee roaster. This episode of the Sloopcast also brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. The Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is also an Ohio-based company, and they like to say that their seasonings will take your barbecue from good to great. Kyle, I was uh, informed by our uh, Sloop Cat, uh, a member of our Discord. He's a, he's a mod in our Discord server, as a matter of fact, uh, that he put some four horsemen on a bacon egg wrap Sunday morning. Bacon egg wrap for I had never thought to put either the four horsemen or uh, its its brother in arms, the Discord, on eggs before. But uh, now that that idea has been brought to my attention, you better believe I'm going to try it. But <laughs> if, if that's uh, if you're not into super spicy spices, you could always try. Uh, I, I, I've, all, I've put the two border on my eggs a lot. That one's uh, maple. It's got some red pepper in it. But it has a bit of a sweeter tinge to it because of the maple. Uh, but you can try, I think you could probably try any of the Four Horsemen, or excuse me, of the Mad Canadian's many spices uh, on your eggs. I, I, I say give them all a try, uh, probably even that salt and pepper, bud. But anyway, you can find all of that and more at the Mad Canadian BBQ.com. Use promo code SLOOPCAST10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. It's a Mad Canadian barbecue company where they have your butts covered. What's up, YouTube and Discord? Hope everyone is safe and warm. Uh, safe and warm. Yeah. Um, uh, safe. Safe. I'm going to tell you this, Kyle. I have, a, I have a mild slope. This is this is as much weather talk as you're going to get, so I hope you're watching, Suncard. I I didn't get up my driveway. You know my driveway. It's not that bad, but it's, it's a bit of a hill. Um as much of a hill as you're going to get in Columbus. And uh, I, I didn't get back up at the first try. <laughs> I mean, I got back up at, don't get me wrong, but I didn't, I, not, not on the first try. And I have, I have four wheel drive. So there you go. All wheel drive. Technically. I think there's a difference. Hell if I know what it is, but it's there. <laughs> not a car guy. All right. Uh, that, that's enough nonsense. Actually one, one more quick bit of nonsense before we get going. I have I have the noise canceling on, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Anything? Nope. nope. No. Uh, I love the noise canceling, but it, it can get in the way of some fun sometimes. <laughs> All, All right, that's enough. Of that let's start the show. Let's start the show. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloop Guest editing today, Kyle. Doing pretty well. How are you today, Jared? Oh, I was doing all right. I have no complaints. I mean, I do have one complaint. Uh, we, we just finished watching the Ohio State-Michigan uh, basketball game, and Ohio State lost. I, I felt like they looked really good. So, you know, for mm -hmm. what it's – I mean, there, there are no moral victories. You wanted to win that game. But it's it's basketball. It's a long season. And we, we have a we have a long way to go yet. Um, but you know what? Let's. Yeah, let's 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 first talk about the yes. uh, the Penn State game here. So yes. Thursday. Guys, Thursday. I'm, I'm more than you right now. I know this is a football podcast. This is a basketball podcast today. If if the title of the show or the thumbnail of the show did not. If you're just if you're just here for the football, maybe just fast forward to about 30 minutes. in. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> All right. So Thursday, Ohio State defeating Penn State 92 to 82. 
Yes. It, it, very surprising to see like Penn State keep up with, with Ohio State because Penn State's just not that good this year. I mean, they're seven and 12 right now. At Right. Mm. With, with yeah. all of the really good games Ohio State's had recently against really good teams, you, you kind of want Ohio State basketball to blow Penn State. Just, just blow them out. Just get rid of them. They're done. Uh, but that uh, that didn't happen. But maybe maybe forgive them a bit considering the schedule that they are facing. If maybe they looked past, maybe they looked past uh, Penn State a tad, at least on their way to Michigan. And then you know, of, of course, they have Michigan State coming up. Which you know, Michigan State is still Michigan State, even if they're not Michigan State. Does that sentence make sense? Michigan State is still Michigan State, even when they're not Michigan State. Sure. Okay. I think it makes sense. Uh, so they have Michigan State coming up next, but they just got off of a, a big game against Indiana, Maryland, Iowa, and they're facing, you know, in 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 the context of Ohio State, Penn State, they were facing a really tough road ahead with Michigan in their future, Iowa again, Illinois again. So I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them have a similarly – disappointing game against Michigan state like they had against Penn state, but still end up winning it again because of what these games are sort of surrounded by schedule wise. Yep. Yep. Giving up 82 though is that's very tough. That's, that's, that's something you, you really need to work on before the tournament starts, even before the big 10 tournament, giving up 82 to Penn state is not, not going to fly. And then we see here, uh, moving forward to Sunday's game where Ohio State lost to Michigan 87 to 92. EJ Liddell summed it up in the post interview. We just can't give up 92 points again. Plain and simple. Can can I do a can I do a quick in defense of? Mm-hmm. In defense of Michigan scored 76 point something. Behind the three point, percentage wise, behind the three point arc in the first half. Now they cooled down in the second half because statistically you'd pretty much have to. But Kyle, do you have the stats in front of you? What's the what? What was the final? What was the final three point percentage? Oh, let me pull. Forty seven point eight. I got there first. Forty seven point okay. eight. Kyle, it's uh, Ohio State can't because they, they don't have the size. They can't, and we said this, we said this on last week's episode when we were talking some basketball last week. We'll find out a lot about who Ohio State is against Michigan. And it confirmed the things we were fearing as far as Ohio State trying to make a deep tournament run. What mm-hmm. happens when a team can both shoot and are clearly outsizing Ohio State down low? Now, the bad news is, is that they lost. What happens when a team is both shooting well and way better than you in the paint? You lost. The good news is they were competitive. 87 yes. to 92. Like, They were down by two points in a half in which Michigan shot 76 point something percent behind the three point arc in the first half. Yeah. And they were only down two. That's the good thing. Like this Ohio State just showed grit. They showed just a lot of just toughness. Like you could, you could have easily be like, oh, they they hit another three. Oh, and it just, the morale just, just plummets from that, but I would say just stuck to it. Like there was something ridiculous. There was, it was close to 20 lead changes all game. Yeah. It was, it was so, close to the entire game. I think the biggest lead came with right at, right at the end there. I think like when three Michigan minutes was up left, like eight, two was minutes up, left. Yeah. They're up by like eight points. Yeah. Uh, neither team ever led by double digits. Kyle said that, you know, 20 some lead changes, it was a great game. Um, 
it, it sucks because Ohio State lost, and that's not the outcome we wanted. But the fact of the matter is, is that it was a great game, and this is one of the best teams in college basketball. It was number I mean, three versus number four, and number three barely won, which is the outcome you expect, actually. Like, that's <laughs> that's kind of what you expect to happen. I mean, Michigan's only lost one game all year. They're, they're, they're a very, very talented team, and Ohio State staying toe-to-toe with them shows a lot about this about this team here. And ob- the, the, biggest, the biggest takeaway is, like what Jared said, is that big man can – can Ohio State somehow overcome um, a team like Michigan moving forward? Then that's that's the big question. Uh, you know, there's uh, I see questions in the live chat. You know, does Ohio State have a center coming in? Um, the boards are where they killed us. Uh, some general anti-Dickerson uh, comments. The I thought Ohio State played well, considering. I'm in the paint. I thought they played well considering how good Dickerson is and the size they were giving up. They get out rebounded by only four. I thought that young and Liddell, despite the size that they were giving up, I thought young and Liddell played really well against Dickerson again, considering they were really great with the turnovers until Late, which I think was the difference. I think that was the difference in the game is that Ohio State was doing great not turning the ball over until the very end. And that's when, of course, Michigan then took their lead. Losing those possessions, I think, is what killed Ohio State down towards the end. Because, Mm -hmm. like I said, they were doing a great job taking care of the ball up until then. Yep, yep. Offensive rebounds was another thing, but but Stewart were saying in our um, in our chat here, offensive rebounds. There was times when Dick was um, Dickinson just was able just to grab any rebound because of his just because of his height. What is he? He's seven seven foot one kid. Yeah, he he just towers over everybody over Ohio State, but still. I'm so I'm so I'm so happy for this team. They, yeah, freshman too. Yeah, I'm so really happy for this team. He, they, he might be gone. Like, like, like I like I mentioned, it's they showed a lot of grit. They showed a lot of grit in that game, and this is a they'll definitely remember this moving forward. And I think it will make them that much better. I think he is a yeah. one and done. Yeah, I think he's a one and done too, um, Buckeye Zach. For for how well he's been playing, yeah, I, I think he's a one and done. I mean, he's seven one, and he's properly physical. That gets mm-hmm. you paid in the NBA. Period. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's kind of how I feel. Loss stinks, um, but I'm not. I'm not overly mad about it. it. I would love this to be another one of those where Turner makes makes <laughs> the three right at the buzzer to to beat Michigan. There, I would. I would love to have that type of game here, but still very proud. I mean, it was. A, this this was a elite eight final four type of caliber game here. Both teams were just could not miss. And then both teams, I think for the most part played, both teams (laughs) played pretty well defense. Like it wasn't not, there wasn't that many just open shots. There was a lot of of contested shots. Uh, It was a very high intense uh, just playing basketball playing that was happening there. It was, it was, this Dwayne two Washington very, very Jr. Teams. Kyle, 30 points. And you talk about a guy who looked like at times he could not miss. Talk about guys who look like he couldn't miss. Dwayne Washington, 30 points. 30 points. Yep. 50% from, from the three. And even EJ Liddell. EJ Liddell trying to cover Dickinson for what he can. And still having 23 points and 10 rebounds for, for the game. That's that's a pretty impressive game there. Yeah, I, and again, I, I I thought he played well defensively, again, considering the size he's giving up. You have to you have to say that. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I think there's a couple of questions here regarding to the basketball team here. Yeah. 
so I th if I scroll down here, so Buckeye Zach asks us here, does this recent loss prove the Buckeyes most most definitely need a true center based on the many second chances uh, Teton got? So offensive rebounds. Let's talk a second about offensive rebounds. Ten versus seven. Is that is that correct, Kyle? Yes. It's you know you don't want to give up ten offensive rebounds. That's that that's a given. But again, I don't I don't considering again. I have to I have to keep saying this. Considering the size Ohio State was giving up down low, considering that they played really they they weren't out rebounded that badly. I thought they played well defensively. You're talking about a game in which Michigan was killing it behind. You, you said, oh, there weren't a ton of open shots. I think Michigan had a ton of open shots early behind the three-point arc. I think, Ohio, I think Ohio State was perfectly willing to crash in the paint and force Michigan to shoot three-pointers in the first half. Now, that didn't work out for him. Uh, but in Holtman's defense, you don't game plan for the other team shooting 76% behind the arc. And, and he adjusted in the second half. Yeah. What was it? Um, Michigan shot. Uh, what was it? I, I, I'm not going to do the math, but they, they, they were, they were for, ten, well, no, they, they shot, ten, they were 10 for 13 in the first half, 10 yeah. for 13. The second half, one for 10. Yeah. And you know, and you know what Michigan did? And I mean, credit to them to adjusting. They went down in the paint. They forced Ohio State to play very physical forced Ohio state to foul a lot and yeah. Michigan got to the line a lot more than Ohio state did. And they used their size to their advantage there. I mean, it, it's a, that's a significant difference here. 24 free throws versus 13 for Ohio state. That's a, that's, that's yeah, that's, that, that's it right there. Michigan adjusted when they couldn't shoot the three and showed why they're one of the best teams this year. Because when they're not able to shoot the three, they they did they ditch it to one of their big men there, and we so we see what happens. Right. Uh, looking a little bit further here at the at the stats, uh, Dickerson was eight for fourteen and scored twenty two points. Uh, rebounds were five and four, so a total of nine rebounds for Dickerson. Mm -hmm. that's but get, that's i mean realistically that's potentially the game mm -hmm. but to answer buckeye but, zach's wait a minute, question i'm sorry Kyle, I, I was setting up a butt i apologize i was setting up a butt okay. but ej liddell had 10 rebounds dickerson did not single-handedly out rebound ohio state in fact he didn't have the most rebounds in the game ej liddell did Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, does Ohio State need a true center? No, I, I think you get a, I think you get a very physical power forward, and that's your and that's your center. And Ohio State, for a number of years, has been pretty fortunate having that big big man there, power forward, not necessarily a center, but a big forward, yeah, power forward. Excuse me. Um, it just just not so much this year. We just don't have that big bruiser that we're, we typically are used to. Now, Zach Key comes in in the second half and was very physical at times, which yeah. was, I think, I think a lot of people on Twitter really in our discord as well, really uh, show applaud for Key being very physical when he did get this chance to. Yeah. Yeah. Zed Key, I think is a, is a guy who, Again, I, I don't know if he's a quote unquote true center. I think he's maybe just a big forward, like so many of the other guys on Ohio State's roster is. Yeah. Uh, another question CJ from Buckeye Zach: Does this game game mean both the Basket Bucks and and T Ten are the dominant elites of the Big Ten right now? If, but if by right now you mean this season, yes. I mean, yes. Now, Purdue and Illinois have something to say about that. Or, excuse me, Iowa. I meant to say Iowa. 
Iowa and Illinois have something to say about that. It's uh, it is what it is. It's it's a great basketball conference this year. It's a great basketball conference this year. I mean, Illinois, you could throw Illinois right in there. I, you could, I mean, as you, as you, I think you could throw Iowa in there as well. Yeah, I think you could put Michigan, Illinois, mm-hmm. Ohio State, and Iowa are definitely elite eight caliber teams. Did you say Michigan, Ohio State, Illinois, and Iowa? Yes. Did you was that order on purpose? Because I kind of think that's the order right now. That's how the current standings <laughs> are right now based off of conference percentage. Okay, but I'm I'm now asking you, Kyle. Okay. Is that uh, the I order? Would, I would say it is Michigan, Illinois, Ohio State, Iowa right now. Oh, so you moved Illinois ahead of Ohio State. No. If I said that before, I apologize. Michigan, Illinois, Ohio State, Iowa. You just did it again. You said Illinois before Ohio State. Yes. Okay. No. Oh. Okay. Yes. Just so okay. Just so we're clear, you have Michigan number one, Illinois number two, Ohio State number three, and right now, yes. Iowa number four. Yes. Kyle. Kyle. Hmm. Why do you hate Ohio State? Hmm. Go. Hmm. It's not so much how it's not so much me hating Ohio State. It's me being <laughs> realistic. So no, I think I think Ohio State's. I, I mean, realistically, you could put two A and two B for Illinois and Ohio State, but I think you could. I think you could do one A, B, and C. Honestly. Okay. So I, I think going back to Zach's question, is Ohio State the clear Ohio State Michigan the clear? No, because I think you have to include Illinois in that. Mm-hmm. But at just coming, you know, like I said, we're moments off of the Ohio State Michigan yeah. game, so it's 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 real easy to feel super high on both of these teams right now. Mm-hmm. And then last question here: Was this a prelude to the 2021 Big Ten tournament finals? It's that's just so hard to say because it's just it's a tournament. It's it's one. Any one game along the way. So, I mean, mm-hmm. if I had to put money on it, I'm going to say no, just because I wouldn't put money on any two teams making it to the championship game in the Big Ten right now. Mm-hmm. That, you, you could, you, whatever two teams you want to say, pick whatever mm-hmm. two teams you want to say. I'm, I'm not going to say these two, te- these two teams will be in the Big Ten championship game. I just, I wouldn't put money on any two teams. Yeah. I mean, right now, currently right now you have, Michigan as a one seed, Illinois as a two, and Ohio State as a three seed, and then Iowa four. So currently. if that stands, which it probably it, 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 it probably it, won't probably but won't, that's... but then it's an impossibility because they're mm-hmm. both on the same side of that bracket, so it's an impossibility. Yeah, but again, that you know, there's a there's a lot of basketball to be played yet. Yep, absolutely. All right. Anything else about this basketball team here or anything uh, else that you want to we have talk, talk about? I think CJ Walker also had a really great game, came off the bench, scored 15 points. Um, I think it's tough for Ohio state to win big games when Arns isn't involved and no. he wasn't scores zero points. Uh, I only took two shots. Only takes two shots. Um, got to keep, got to keep singing the praises of Kyle young. Um, he's not, you know, you look at the you look at the stat line for this game, and there's nothing there that necessarily looks amazing. But they just play better when he's on the court. Period. He's uh, that I I I I call him. He's that scrappy kind of player. That's that's the yes. Scrappy is a word we apply to many white players. <laughs> that's 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 like that's like white kid 101. He's scrappy. <laughs> Sneaky athletic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think, that, I think that's, that's the true. other one. Sneaky athletic. Don't forget quicker than fast. Don't forget quicker than fast. Yeah. Kyle Young is definitely that player. Like you, you just cannot look at the stats to, to tell what Kyle Young brings to the, to the court. He's, he's not the most gifted player on the court, but man, you can tell that he puts his heart and soul into it when he's on the court there. Yeah. Very, 
Yeah, I you know, I just think that Ohio State played a really good game. And I think mm-hmm. it's just it's hard. I think Michigan's a great team. That's I mean, that's it. Yep. Um it's this hurts Ohio State in their chances to get that number one seed. Yes, absolutely. Uh it's 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 it hurts them a lot, but it's not it's not over by any means. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. there's still a bit, you win that big 10 tournament. I think you get that number one seed, but this certainly does not help. Um, yeah. we, you know, we said when two, you know, we talked about the next, you know, the big next three games with, you know, this game, Illinois and Iowa still on the schedule coming up, you know, Kyle and I talked about the four best teams in the big 10. Well, Ohio state is playing the other three. Uh, they just lost to Michigan. We said you win two out of three of those, you can get that number one seed. Well, now they have to win two of two, which is considerably harder than winning one of two. Yep. So I, I think it definitely hurts Ohio State along, you know, from that perspective. But we, uh, Justin, I, no, I thought Justin Suing played all right. Um, oh, great. <laughs> well, I just, by the way, can, and, uh, all, all, all love and respect to Thad Mata. So don't don't take this as a as a slight. Isn't it nice to see Ohio State play with a bench? Like Ohio, this is this team is so deep right now. But they played five players off of their bench in considerable time too. Uh, they're you know C.J. Walker comes off of the bench and he's their third highest scorer. I thought you know, Seth Towns played a lot of minutes. Uh, do I uh, seven? Which you know, it's they had. You know, I, I guess you know maybe I inflated how much that was in my head. Seven's not not a ton, but they still had two bench players with over ten minutes, and C.J. Walker, although not starting, definitely had more time in than than Arns did. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's just it's nice to see a team at Ohio State with like true depth and using it. Um, to answer your question, I think it was earlier. Uh, what was the question? I think it was I think it was Stewart asked uh, if Ohio State, um, Ohio State has like a big man coming up here. I think that was Buckeye Zach that asked that. Okay, that was Please Buckeye go. Zach. Yeah. Does does Ohio State have a big man coming up here in the recruits? Uh, if you look at the recruits, no, not really. You have um you have Maliki Branham, um, who's a um currently ranked 29th nationally out of um St. Vincent St. Mary, which we all should know. You've heard of it. You you've heard of it. I, I think everybody's heard of that. We don't we don't and, gotta tell you about St. Vincent St. Mary. You've heard of it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't just say, oh, he's from Akron, Ohio. Nope, we're going to go with the actual high school there. Uh, and then the other one is uh, Malachi. Kelly... <laughs> Stuart wants you hmm? to know Malachi. Malachi, thank you. Uh, and the other one is uh, Kaylin, who is a power forward from Convoy, Ohio, Crestview. And I sure know that high school. Yeah. Is, Crestview is that, High School. Yep. Is that is that a is that a Northwest thing right there? Division 13. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, but, you know, Ohio State is always making moves in the transfer portal as well. So, I, you know, and not to mention the recruiting. It's not. It, we'll see. Uh, Stuart says, it's where the hell I am. I town. <laughs> I think maybe he meant is from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume he meant is from. All right, Kyle, uh, time time for some ad reads. Are you, uh, why don't you lead us off here? All right, are you looking something up? Is this a look it up, Kyle, look it up situation? You seem very <laughs> intent on your other monitor. This is why I'm asking. Nope, you just go. Okay. This episode of these Loopcats brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Uh, I talked a little bit about uh, the Discord and the Four Horsemen. The Discord and the Four Horsemen are the two spiciest spices of the Mad Canadian Arsenal. Uh, they are each four pepper blends. 
Uh, they're very similar. The primary difference between the two is that the Discord has a, excuse me, this beer is very carbonated. Uh, <laughs> the Discord has a sweeter base while the uh, Four Horsemen has a bit of a saltier base. Um, if you want something less spicy, but still giving you just, just a little bit of a kick. If, if you like spicy stuff, but maybe the family doesn't, so you need something that's a just a little tiny bit of a kick, then maybe check out the Sonoran Heat. Uh, that's an amazing do-it-all spice uh, that will give your food, like 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 I said, just, just enough. Just enough of a kick. Uh, there's also the Cajun, which is a great do-it-all spice, as is, of course, the S&P Bud. That's an amazing do-it-all spice as well. And you can find... That you can find those three, by which I mean the Sonoran Heat, the Cajun, the S and P Bud, and the Smoked, which is another great do it all spice. Uh, you can find all of those in the Just Send It box. That's your starter box. If you maybe don't have a ton of spices, and maybe you're trying to learn to cook a little bit more, and you don't necessarily know what goes on what, and that's a bit confusing for you, check out the Just Send It box. Those are your four staples. When, when you're still just trying to learn to cook, you're not going to go wrong with any one of those four. So that would be a great starting point. And like I said, if you're, or maybe you know someone who's just starting to cook, maybe someone who's, you know, just maybe heading out on their own for the first time, or just like, maybe they're stuck inside because we're still in 2020, even though it's 2021 and you're learning to cook for yourself. Uh, Try the Just Send It box would be my recommendation to you. Four great do-it-all spices. And you can get 10% off of that Send It All, or excuse me, that Just Send It, uh, by using promo code SLOOPCAST10. That's SLOOPCAST10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. That's the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, where he has your butts covered. This episode is also brought to you by our good friends over at the Iron Bean Coffee Company. As I mentioned at the top of the show, Iron Bean Coffee Company is a fair trade certified and USDA organic company. They use high quality coffee beans directly from countries such as Colombia, Brazil, Uganda, Honduras, Peru, Ethiopia, and Indonesia, and other far off lands. Um, for those who are wanting just single servings, they do have them available in K-Cups. They also have gift cards. And oh, by the way, free shipping for everything over $50. And you can save even more if you use their subscription service. Now, let's talk about some other products that they have, Jared. Please. Uh, let us talk about the Fear No Evil. It is a dark roast. Uh, they have here in the description, it's a roasted to it to the brink of flames. This is a rich black dark roast. It is void of all light. The sheen is like polished armor and the feel is like cocoa butter. Or you can get the unicorn. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Any other will you, <laughs> but you can go ahead and get the unicorn, which will just be a random bag and just you'll be surprised once you open that bag and s start roasting it yourself. Be sure to check all of the great coffee over at ironbeancoffee.com. Again, that is ironbeancoffee.com, America's local coffee roaster. We have clarification from Stuart, Kyle. He did not say, that was not meant to be, it's where the hell, or I, I don't know what I said, whatever I said, it's wrong. He corrected it to where the hell am I town? Yeah. Yep. Fair, okay. It's so a punctuation. It matters. Uh, and by the way, I, I think quotations would have been the, the, the correct way to go there, Stuart. Not yeah. to correct your punctuation, because I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was just a momentary lapse of, of judgment. As a man who typos most things, I forgive you. Hurry, uh, let's let's keep talking before he finishes what he's saying. <laughs> so um, before the ad, uh, I was made, mentioning Kaylin Etzler, uh, who's from Crestview High School. Yeah. Yes, Northwest Conference. Good old Northwest Conference in Ohio. All right, Kyle, we have some questions. Let's do some Ask the Sloopcast <laughs> questions. All right, let's do it. Let's start from the top here, shall we? Yes. Kabuto on our Discord. Again, you can ask us questions in our Discord. Links are in the doobly-doos, as Jared would like to say. 
uh, you can become a just a member and you you once you are a member and you participate a while you have access to ask us questions so you have a question join us on discord big family it was a, it was a great talking to everybody while the game was going on check us out we're it's like family yeah, it's like the family. basketball versus, versus, versus what you see on Twitter. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, ba- the, the basketball chat that we use in game is, is a part of the free package of the discord server. So just, mm-hmm. just so that's that, that, that one's not behind the paywall. So ev- every member of our discord server could have participated in our live game chat. Yes. Kabuto asks us if you had to do an entire podcast, 20 to 25 minutes, for each minute of a movie, <laughs> for each minute, what movie would you pick? I, does it have to be? I, I think it has to be a bad movie, right? Does it have to be a bad, or it has to either be? It has to be a bad movie that's really good at being a bad movie. Uh, so you couldn't have a like a slow paced movie. It would have to just be like bad, 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 like constant garbage being thrown at you. Or it would have to be like an amazing movie that's just packed with all of it. Hmm. I feel it, it has to be a movie that's just insanely packed with detail and is great. Or a fast moving bad movie. I almost I almost want to do like a Transformers movie. It's a terrible movie, but very fast paced. I'm not saying this is a bad movie because I like it, but what about what about Deadpool? Hmm. Could I think it would be I think it would be interesting maybe to do any of the Marvel movies because it's so like deep in lore. Mm-hmm. You could break down. Okay, now how does this connect to that character, and how does that connect to this character? You know what I mean? Uh, I, I feel like. Anything that exists inside of a larger universe gives you a lot more to talk about. Again, if you had to fill 20 minutes for every one minute of the movie, you had to break down each individual. It would be, it would also be helpful. Uh, like you to, like you said, with a, with a Deadpool sort of thing, Mm -hmm. how does this interconnect with the other? And I get it's Sony Marvel, not Marvel, Marvel. And those two worlds are going to be anyway, getting too deep into the woods. Next question. Yeah. All right. Uh, Brawley asks us, if you had to line up the perfect week of dinners, what would your seven meals be? Ooh, I'm going to have to get my notepad here. Oh, <laughs> man. This is, this is, am I trying to be healthy or not? It just says here, your perfect week of dinners. So that is up to you. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a cost out the window here, and we're we're going steaks. That's 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 some that's a that's a nice some nice amount of protein. Again, I'm throwing cost out of the window here. We're going steak. We're going steak every every week, or every day. Every day of the week. Yeah, we'll we'll do a T-bone one day. We'll do a strip the next day. We'll do a flank uh, the next day. We'll do a ribeye the day after that. We we I mean we we can still get some variety. And I tell you what, I'm trying to be healthy. Let's do a side salad. With steak bites in it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. There's going to be steak in the salad. Don't, don't, don't get that mixed up. Mm-hmm. So yes, definitely a like a type of. We steak might we might can... put bacon instead of doing a bacon wrap steak, Stuart. We might put we might put bacon in the salad. Salad with a side. Salad of with a side of steak. <laughs> that yes. works. Uh, so some of my other meals that I, I love to make, I, I love making my Buffalo chicken pizza. It's a winner. It's a winner. Oh, I love that. Even just making some burgers using our good friend, uh, some of the mad Canadian spices on it. What's, what's your favorite? What's your favorite for a burger? What's your favorite? Mad, let's throw a mad Canadian, a free one. Ooh. I'm I get carry steak on the burger. Carry steak or the snoring heat. Uh, so you can never go wrong with the snoring heat. Mm-hmm. Want something a little bit? You want a little kick on that? Maybe, maybe put in it. Put on a um, like a pepper jack cheese on that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, Buckeye Zach asks us, "What's your favorite March Madness weekend game meal?" I always, if, uh, if I'm doing sports, I always, I always like to make a, a nacho plate. Yeah, so, something with like just a lot of 
just like side foods like you could you could classify like nachos as one maybe like pizzas like just a lot of you can just grab little bits of it appetizers yes appetizers thank yeah. you i could not think of that word yes <laughs> appetizers uh, appetizers so make, for like, dinner is what you do for sporting events and i i think nachos is my go-to in that case mm-hmm. nachos or i think uh for the super bowl i did a buffalo chicken dip oh stewart just said that oh buffalo chicken dip Great, great, great minds think alike. Yes. Steak pizza. <laughs> I'd, I'd do steak nachos or steak mm-hmm. pizza. I'd, yeah. All right, Jared. Um, before we go down this rabbit hole here, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go down here to, you know what? No, we'll, we'll, we'll go I to think, Austin, most... For, Austin. Austin Formation gives us, he, he has here this week, of his questions, he has labeled fact or fiction. Did we get these nomad basketball questions? Should we do those first? Um, did I, did I miss those? Yes, I did. I apologize. Let's, nomad. let's do some I nomad apologize. basketball questions. Yeah. And Does then... the basket bucks have a true sixth man? Now, uh, think... nomad sent this before the Michigan game. He sent this after the Penn State game. Um, and it's hard not to say CJ Walker coming fresh off of his 30 plus, was it 30 plus minutes? I don't have those stats yep. up anymore. 32 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you won Buckeye Zach back by the way. All right. All right. Yes. The answer to the question. Yes. Ohio State does have a true sixth man. Now a seventh man. No. Uh, if maybe if not. some guys got health, if there was if there some guys got healthier, maybe. Yeah. All right. Uh, another question from Nomad: Are you more impressed with the ninety point plus or more concerned with the eighty plus point? I think we kind of answered that already. As a, once uh, again, light up another eighty plus game. Uh, ninety in that case. Uh, yes. Yeah. Once again, like he sent this after the Penn State game, um, and with the hindsight that with the additional information we have in our belt from the Michigan game. Yeah. You have to be concerned about the other team scoring more at this point. Mm-hmm. Those, those questions became really easy to answer because of what we saw in the Michigan game. Yes. All oh, right. they're definitely uh Stuart says that the Buckeyes are seven deep easy. Oh, they're definitely seven. Yeah. No, that's a very deep team. I just don't know if there's like this guy's the seventh man. That I think is my only point. Mm-hmm. He he is a is a true freshman. He's he's coming along. Uh, I know. I think it was you or somebody else earlier mentioned that he could be a dark horse come tournament time, possibly, possibly. I I do like Key and I like his the future of him. So, See, I would um, I'd almost say Michi before I'd say Zed. But here's the thing: I don't think either of us are necessarily right or wrong. So, but anyway, yeah, I, I, I don't, I said, I guess my point is, is that there isn't one who's mm-hmm. the seventh man. All right, Kyle, let's, let's get into this, this run of questions here. All right. All right. Uh, fact, fact or fiction here. So we should be able to answer these relatively quick. Fact or fiction, CJ Stroud. Okay. Well, we're, we're swapping these, over these to are, football now. These, these are Austin. C- yes. Austin formation. CJ Stroud will take the first offensive snap for Ohio state this fall. If I had to pick one name, which I guess is the game we're playing right now, I, I, I'm going to go fact. All right. Yep. I will go fact as well. But but Garrett, I'm not I'm not settled on that. Just, I'm not so either, but clear, if we have to choose one or the on other, I'm leaning more like 55 fact. See, Stewart uh, said neutral. That's not the game we're playing. It's fact <laughs> or fiction. You have to pick one. or No, you can't say undecided either, Stewart. Stop trying to cheat the system. Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave are the best wide receiver duo that Ohio State has ever had. Ooh. That's so tough I'm with it gonna, being a shorter season. If it was longer and they had the... But Kyle, we're, 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 this season. Because we're doing it again. We are. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, he said, are the best wide receiver duo that Ohio State has ever had. Yeah, but we're doing it again. I'm going to go, I'm going to go fact here, man. That is so tough. Like there, there's another duo that I can think of that has proven. And it was a very, very good duo. 
Oh yeah, they no, was, they're, they're, they had the nickname Seven Eleven, always open. I, I know, I know it. I, I'm not, I'm not saying it's an easy. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's by a lot. I'm not saying, oh, absolutely. I'm saying yes. I'm squinching my face, and I'm, I'm saying it with like a little bit of a, 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 a meek voice. Like, yeah, I think it is. All right, I'm, I'm not quite sold. I, I'm gonna go fiction for right now. Okay. I, go fiction. Yeah, it's 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 a hard question to answer. All right. Um friction. <laughs> uh Carson Wentz going to be a good quarterback for the Colts. Sure. I'm going fiction. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fiction. Uh air fryers <laughs> are your favorite cooking instrument. Fa- uh, favorite. I'm going to go I'm going to go fiction. Yeah. I'll go it's, fiction. It's yeah, it, Ultimately, I want a, a, a stove is my favorite. I mean, grill mm-hmm. is my favorite, but unfortunately, I live in Ohio and I, I can't use it all the time. So maybe maybe if I lived in warmer weather, but I don't. Uh, Ohio State will have a singular running back rushing for over a thousand yards this fall. True. It's going to be it's going to be a, a, a or excuse me, fact. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a running team. Uh, one of them, whoever, I, I'm not sure who yet, but what, someone will go over 1,000 yards. Yes. Best best game day food is burgers. Fiction. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go fiction as well. They're... Burgers are great, but I think Kyle and I already kind of covered game day food. I kind of like the picket stuff appetizer appetizer type stuff chicken wings too chicken yes. wings is great yes water is wet uh false fiction water makes things wet it isn't wet itself the application of water to something else makes that something else wet Ooh, i'll go with jared there uh- <laughs> <laughs> kyle kyle doesn't know if he actually agrees or not he just realized that <laughs> I came out strong and he doesn't want to get me started. That's what that was. You know what, just a, just a, I'll, I'll go with, I'll go with fact. Water is wet. It is the <laughs> essence. Exactly what Stuart says. It is the essence of wet. Yes. No, it's uh, the Justin creator Fields of wet. wet. <laughs> Justin Fields will not get drafted in the first five picks. Fiction. I'm going to go he'll, fact. He'll get, he'll get drafted. In, excuse me. I'm, he will not get drafted. I'm going to say fiction. He will be a top five pick. I'm going I'm, I'm going to go fact. I think he slips just outside the top five. All right. Someone's going to screw. And by the way, that's bad. Like whoever does that is screwing up. Don't get me wrong. Well, how is it? We'll have two first rounders this year. Exactly two. Um, I'm going to go fact. All right, who's the second one? I'm going to put you right on the spot here. The second one, I believe, is... I think they have a couple guys who it could be, but I think it's I think it's Davis. I think it's Wyatt Davis. I think he can go in the first round. Yeah, I'll go with fact as well. I think... I think Ohio State is on that cusp of getting that second, that second person too. Uh, I don't know who it might be, but I'll, I'll, I'll say that I'll say that there will be a surprise towards the end that a, a second Ohio State player will get drafted. Yeah, and I think it'll be someone. Now, if you if you force me to choose which someone, I'm saying Wyatt Davis, but we have a long way to go yet. Um, mm-hmm course there's no combine this year but we we have a ways to go yet yep all right next one here how state defense will have a better yards per play average than they did last year uh fact the defense will be better next year now will it be good enough i don't know but it will be better next year yeah is, is, I'll, I'll, go with, I'll go with I'll go with the fact that there, it will be better. Will Ohio State 
House State will have four or more players drafted in the first round, the 2022 draft. Will Ohio State have four more players drafted in the first round of the 2022 draft? Uh, that feels possible. I think Olave and Wilson are both capable right off the bat. Um, you probably get, I think it's totally plausible that you get two defensive players who I, I really honestly feel like this, this, this next season is so huge for seven banks. I feel like he could become a first round pick or fall off the face of the earth based off of what happens next year. Mm-hmm. I, I think, I think the margin is, is that big for him. What about what about one of our favorite players that we love talking about? Uh, Haskell. Year of the tight end. Well, I like Rucker, but I don't think he's a first round pick. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of guys currently on the team who either are currently first round picks or have a real good opportunity to turn themselves into one. Now, and mm-hmm. by the way, Rucker could if Rucker completely blows up this year, which with a freshman quarterback and maybe a run heavier offense, that's possible. Maybe. Uh, but I think, yeah, I, I think uh, you talk about Mumford, I think is absolutely capable of, he's not right now, but he could be. We have a bunch of linebackers who will all be draft eligible, who we've not seen on the field. One of them has an amazing year. Maybe. Seven banks. Maybe. Maybe. I think there's a lot of maybes and with you already having Munford, who's really close record, who's pretty close. Yeah. And uh, then I'll Wilson go... and Olave, who absolutely in my mind are first round picks. Uh, I'll go, I'll go with fiction here. Four is just, it's a lot. To I be think in the Zach first Harrison round. could become a first round pick after this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'll, I'll go with fiction though. I'll go with fiction. Fair enough. Uh, EJ Liddell will suit up for the Buckeyes this fall. No, I think he's NBA bound. Agreed. So fiction. Ohio State will reach at minimum the elite eight. At minimum is is tough. I think they're an elite eight team. Um. <laughs> yes, Stewart, hammer the over. I, I'm going to go. With, I'm going to go with fact here. I'm going to go I fact think- as well. I, but I think they're an elite eight team. I, I, and of course it just depends upon who they play in the elite eight, mm-hmm. but it just, yeah, it just depends upon who they have to play in the elite eight, but the elite eight is approximately where I'm placing them right now. Ohio state will win the big 10 tournament. Um, I, I, I can't say any one team. So fiction cut, cut, cover your ears guys, but I'm going to say fiction. Yeah. I just, I can't pick any one team. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say fi- I wouldn't say fact about any team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> team team <interview>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, barbecue is generally the best dipping sauce. Okay, first off, you have to say barbecue sauce. Is it barbecue and barbecue sauce are not the same thing? Come on, Austin. You've lived in the South too long. You know better. Um, no. I'm not a big barbecue sauce fan. I'm not. I'm not either. Yeah. I'm not either. I I'm, I'm, I prefer mustard. I don't, I don't like mustard. I'm not, I'm not a mustard person. No. Wish I did. It's, it's 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 very healthy. I wish I liked mustard more, but I don't. How about, how about some of that cane sauce? I, I, there is mustard in that, I think, but it's <laughs> it's like just it's not the best dipping sauce is cane sauce. Well, speaking of mustard, mustard-based potato salad is superior. False. Absolutely yeah. false. Yeah, false. Mayo. I, false, 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 false. I've, I've made a German potato salad that's primarily like vinegar and, and a tad, tad bit of my, uh, I, I don't, I don't want mayo or mustard. I can do vinegar. I've done, I've done a German potato salad. That's amazing. It has bacon in it. It's bacon. It's potato. It's a little bit of vinegar. It's it's amazing. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on, Trevor Lawrence will have a better pro career than Justin Fields. I'm gonna say fiction, but I'd also say fiction if you told me the other way around because I just there's there's too much other 
like what team do they end up on and how does that team da, 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 da. I, I I wouldn't be, I I don't feel comfortable saying fact no matter who was on the other side of that question so I'm gonna say fiction I'll just go with fact just because of what we see with Tre- with Trevor Lawrence and I I, I just think overall he'll have a better career. Uh, yeah, it also depends on who's surround who's surrounding them. That's what I'm saying. Like, what what team well, are they but, on? What coach? I'll, I'll go with fact, though. I'll go with fact. I, I think Dwayne Haskins, if he doesn't end up in Washington, for for a number of reasons, I'm not claiming Dwayne Haskins is a victim in that situation. I think it was very bad for him to go back home and be around, but. It, it just depends. And I think Dwayne Haskins has an opportunity in Pittsburgh to rehab his career, but it's not been a great start for him. And I think in large part because he was picked by Washington. Had he been picked by someone else, I think he'd be doing much better right now. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, look, look who, look where Trevor's going to go. Allegedly. Okay. Uh, at least two Buckeyes will win the Super Bowl next year. There were none this year. No Buckeyes in the Super Bowl for either team. Oh, I don't know. I, uh, you know, I'll just go with fact. I'll I'm go, go I'm with going fact. Fiction. I'm going fiction. All right. Ohio State will start three seniors on the offensive line this year. Redshirt juniors are included. What? So that's fair month. I, I, I forget whatever. <laughs> the, the, the COVID season has me real mixed up about who's designated what right now. So the so, offensive line right, right now, now, right now that'll be Munford, Ray Jones, Petit Fury. Munford. Um, hold on. I'm, I'm super confused. I think the offensive line is so you, okay. So he says three, did he say at least three? Is that what three of these four Munford, Ray Jones, Petit Fury. I'm sorry. I'm super confused right now Ohio State will start three seniors on the offensive line this year yep redshirt redshirt juniors are included in that too so who's been there for four years okay um so I'm gonna say true I'm gonna say fact Munford Jones and Petit I think I think so yeah um Mm -hmm. you had Paris in there and you add Harry Miller in there, I think yep. it's the two guys who aren't. I think that's kind of where I'm leaning offensive line-wise right now. All right. So we both agreed to that. Travion Henderson will have the best season at running back for Ohio State this year. I'm going to say, I'm going to say fact, but you want to say fact, but I'm I'm going to go yeah. with fiction. I want I want I want it to be him. I don't know if it is. It all just depends upon what he is capable of doing when the ball's not in his hand. Can he do all the? Uh, we know what he can do with the ball in his hand. What does he this do year. when the ball's not in his hand in order to earn that playing time? Is the big question. This year, Stewart. This year, 2021 season. Dobbins isn't part of Ohio State this year. <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows that, Kyle. Uh, the player most likely to win a fist fight on the team is Haskell Garrett. Uh, true. I'll go true. I'll go true. Um, um, I, I gotta keep, I gotta keep an eye on Thayer Munford as well. Mm-hmm. I, I'll go with true with Garrett. Uh, let's see. Wendy's chili is better than skyline. True. True. True, 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 true. Four of these teams will be in the playoffs this year. Ohio State, Oregon, Clemson, Alabama, Georgia, Oklahoma, Notre Dame. True. Yeah. um, I mean, Ohio State, Clemson, Alabama just feels almost given. Mm -hmm. It really does. And And then I think you cover your Notre Dame, Oklahoma, or Georgia there. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Oregon deserves to be in this class of teams, but I'm going to say true. Yeah, you have three of the four, absolutely, and then Georgia, Oklahoma, and Notre Dame feel like a great trio of, of possibilities for that fourth spot. Yep. Playoffs will be expanded to eight by the beginning of the 2025 season. 
Um, true. I'm gonna say true. So we got four more seasons to deal with. You know, I'll, I'll go with fact. I I, th- I think I think we're about to see some changes here. I'll go with fact. So four seasons from now, we're going to be talking about eight. You know, I might lean towards fact. I've I've been I've been a champion of eight, so I want it. So let's just be very clear about that. I want it. Um, I I would have I would have almost said fiction, except I even saw Urban Meyer during the Fox during a Fox mm-hmm. broadcast, who had been adamant that four was the number. Four, 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 four is the number. Four, four. And then I even saw him this year be like, eight? <laughs> yeah. Now, how much of that has to do with him no longer being a coach? Maybe a lot. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Um, vanilla is superior to chocolate. True. I'm, I'm going to go true. with fiction. Excuse me. Fact. I prefer vanilla. I'm going to go with fiction because they're equal. Ah, okay. I see what you did there, but but I disagree. Vanilla superior. All right, <clears throat> all right. One last one from Stewart. Kevin Warren, fire, fire. Kevin Warren, true right. or fiction? Fact. <laughs> all, right. All, right, all right, all right. We got some. We got some from Suncard here. We need to get some of these from. Sun- right, we're running out of time. Um. Well, we can't do, we have a bunch more of these. We're just going to do some more of these. Pick out some of your favorite ones. Um, oh, from, here, here's a good one from Suncar. JT Barrett will be appreciated more as the years go on. True. Because I think yes. he did a great job advancing the program, even though I don't necessarily think he was capable of winning a national title. Mm-hmm. Ohio State will lose a game before the playoffs this year. I'm going to go fiction. Fiction. All right. One last one from Suncard. Weather talk is the best way to start a podcast. False. Fiction. False in fiction. Hey, hey, everyone in the uh, Discord. Fact. (laughs) All right. Some some from Buckeye Zach. Um, Ohio State takes a tight end and a linebacker in the transfer portal for 2021. Um. Neither of those, they both, they, they want depth at both of those positions. Well, actually, I take that back. They want depth at tight end, but they only want a starter for the linebacker. So to get both of them, I'll say fiction. To get, you now if it was or, if it was or and not and, I'd say, I'd say fact. All right. Based on how this is written, I would say fiction. Paris Johnson, this one also from Buckeye Zach. Paris Johnson Jr. will have a big year starting on the offensive line fact i'm gonna go with fact right now i'll go with fact uh cj stroud throws for 2000 and rushes for 1000 yards in 2021 i'll go with fiction i'm going so fiction. i would i think he gets closer to the thousand rushing but i don't think he gets to the thousand i don't know that he's starting so to start giving him stats to one <laughs> You're you're moving you're moving past one presumption and into another presumption. One, I don't think he's going to rush the ball that much. Two, I don't know for a fact that he's even going to start. Do I think he's going to start? I already answered that question. Yes, I believe that is a fact, mm-hmm. but I don't know it. So to move a presumption into a, another presumption, I'm not going to do it. That's fiction. All right. Uh, let's see. Olave a 2021 Heisman finalist. It, I, I know we just had a wide receiver win the Heisman, but it's just, it's just too rare fiction as a finalist fact. Yeah, I know, but it's still, it's just, it's, and he's going to have a first time starting wide receiver, or excuse me, a first time starting quarterback. I'm going fiction. All right. All right. One last question here from sun card. Crunchy peanut butter is the one true form of peanut butter. Fiction. I like fiction. Crunch- I, I, I like crunchy. I'm just not going to hate on creamy. Yes. I love creamy. Yeah. I just crunchy for me. Yeah. It, it's, I, I, I don't take a side in the great peanut butter wars. <laughs> that's yes. it. All right. All right. I think that's it, Jared. I think that's all we have for today. Yeah. Uh, we're going to try and wrap this one up on time for a change. Uh, and then, Oh, we we're we're meeting some crunchy based resistance. Answer the Joe Milton question: Should Ohio State bring Joe Milton in so he can take part of 
part in hanging 100 on the team up north uh fiction yeah fiction. that one's from stewart underscore e4 us vet uh, that's fiction uh ohio state's not going to take in a starting caliber quarterback they, if they if they bring in a quarterback transfer, it's going to be a guy who's looking to get his graduate degree from Ohio State, not a guy who's looking to play at all. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and end today's episode. All right, right, everyone, that's that's all the stuff. Make sure to check out thesloopcast.com, which is just a landing page that directs you to all of our other links. Uh, and you can find uh, all those other links that takes you to things like our Patreon page where you can contribute to the podcast for as little as $3 a month. I, it's $3 a month. That's like a candy bar or maybe two at a gas station. Right? $3 a month. Help us grow. Uh, we want to get some better cameras. We want to we wanna keep it. You know, if you see all the video setup that we're doing now, the way we're actually able to contribute on on YouTube now in a meaningful way, we bought new computer equipment, we bought new mics, we we're, we're trying to turn this into something more and bigger. And uh, the people who have contributed to us in this past year, uh, including our wonderful sponsors, Iron Bean and the Mad Canadian, have helped make this possible. And if we want to continue to make this even bigger, uh, we, we, we do need additional help. We need additional support. So it, it's as little as $3 a month, and you get premium access to the Discord, early access to episodes. Um, there are different tiers, so you can contribute more and get additional benefits. But I'll be honest with you, the, the $3 tier is going to get you access to almost anything you're probably going to want to get access to. So it's you'll be great at the $3 tier. Come join us. Come join us. You get, like I said, premium access to the Discord is worth the $3 a month all by itself, but it, it, that's not where it stops. And there's a lot more to it than that. So and don't, don't forget about the goal. Don't forget about, oh, well, yeah. You tell us, Kyle. What, what did we set it to? How much was it? Like 550, I believe it's currently, I, I believe it it's was. set at. Yeah, yeah, if we if we reach our Patreon goal of five hundred and fifty dollars a month total, which by the way includes our advertising money, so support our sponsors. So the pay, our our ad money is included in that total. If we reach that total, we become a five day a week podcast during the football season, and we add an additional episode during the off season. So we'd go back to our you know, we we're in the we're in the off season of the football uh, program now. We go back to doing two episodes a week from our one episode a week, and during the football season, we go to five episodes a week. Uh, so that's a thing that you can help make happen by going uh, like just three dollars at a time. We aren't super close. We're we're like sixty six, maybe sixty five percent of our way to that goal. Again, mostly on the backs of our advertisers, but you can help out as well. Uh, so, Kyle, that was a lot of talking I did about the Patreon, so I'm not going to talk about anything else. If you want to find uh, links to all of our YouTube stuff and podcast stuff and, and, and merchandise stuff, I'm wearing merchandise, Ohio Beer Only t-shirt, available in our 771 store. Um, you can find links to all of that stuff at thesloopcast.com. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? No, oh, one thing we missed but oh by the way oh, just real quick sorry if any of our uh people currently in the live chat want to recommend music now would be a great time to do that uh so this week ohio state taking on sparty on the 25th which is a thursday so thursday 9 p.m on espn ohio state takes on sparty up in east lansing and then a week from today as we're recording this so sunday ohio state will be hosting iowa at 4 p.m now jared i don't know i don't know if we'll be i think we might be recording before then maybe i don't know we'll figure it out figure it out we'll figure it out we can always delay we could always do a tuesday episode okay All right. I, the bas basketball is too good not to record around right now Last year, this time, we didn't adjust our recording or release schedule around basketball. This year, it's a little too good. We might have to do it. We'll we'll, we'll make an announcement on both Twitter and the Discord about our, our plans. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
Yep. So Sparty Thursday, Iowa Sunday. Be there. Do, be, what, sure what, join, what, be sure to join our game again. Be sure to join our Discord. I mean, there's a lot of fun. A lot of fun during the the uh, basketball games. So. Yeah, for sure. All right, that's that is it. That is it. Oh boy, Kyle, talk talk for just a little bit longer about basketball for me. What 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 was the uh, what was the name of the or excuse me, what, what time's the Iowa game again? I missed that. Uh, let's see, Michigan State, nine p.m. Thursday. Iowa is four o'clock in the shot. Sixteen and six, eleventh ranked Iowa versus fourth ranked Ohio State. Which, by the way, I hope that Ohio State does not drop based on their loss i i mean they probably will because it's it's stupid it's just polls are stupid and they probably will but they won't drop too far so we'll we'll see we'll see uh why so late probably uh the answer buckeye zach is probably because of television uh so kyle is that it for kyle's corner that's it all right tonight's ending band is label me lector they're based out of columbus ohio and uh You can check out links to all of their stuff in the show notes. And with all of that being said, I'd like to ask everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Label Me Lecter. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Discord? How you guys doing? I YouTube people can't talk back. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm just letting it letting this game settle in, and yeah, I I agree with like uh, our folks in the Discord. Yeah, it just doesn't it doesn't hurt. I mean, yeah, you lose to your rival, but it it doesn't hurt to me based on how they played. I mean, uh, Ohio State and Michigan is is, I mean, it's of course it's Ohio State and Michigan, but it's not it's basketball it's not football like it's not it's not the same we don't have to pretend like it is um i mean michigan fans well because they're a basketball school right now right uh and as ohio state and alabama are proving right now you have to be one or the other (laughs) drinking a hazy miss daisy from Mm. zaftig brewing it's not fair for saying. You're just gonna have to trust me. It's a hazy Miss Daisy, <laughs> hazy Miss Daisy from Zaftig. That's what I'm drinking right now. And let's let's give Apollo There's... a quick oh, shout out. That's Apollo. Look like LG. Ah, uh, we're they're they're back there in the in the chicken cooker. So it's hard to tell. <laughs> Someone called it a chicken cooker because it's the bright red <laughs> lights, and I found that really funny. So I just go with it. All right, Kyle. Let's end the episode. Once again, I'd like to thank Label Me Lecter for ending today's episode. And I once again want to thank the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company for sponsoring today's episode. The Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based barbecue spice and food truck company. Uh, they are based out of Cary, Ohio, which is uh, in the Lima, Finley. Kyle, which one are they closer to, Lima or Finley? Finley. Finley. They're in the Finley. Uh, Cary, Ohio is in the Finley area of, of Ohio. Uh, you can check out so many great spices uh i want to talk about the old-fashioned do you like bourbon do you like cherry do you like an old-fashioned cocktail by by which i mean i don't mean like an old fat i mean of an old-fashioned comma cocktail i don't know if that comma actually helped out at all but it's bourbon and it's cherry it's a little bit of bitter it's fantastic on your ribs or or maybe on a uh, a beef roast uh, basically, it's it's a great slow cooker is, is sort of how I describe that. If you want another great slow cooker, you uh, might want to check out the savory. Uh, the savory is great on your shredded chicken or your shredded pork. Again, doing like a nice long barbecue or even crock pot meal, uh, trying to get like that authentic like shredded chicken flavor, uh, I would check out the savory. The coffee in Q, that also goes great on beef. Uh, it's It's coffee. And it's bar- It's a barbecue seasoning with a coffee base. Uh, in fact, it's an iron bean coffee base. Uh, it is the cast iron, if you're interested. Uh, that's the coffee that's in the coffee in queue. Uh, there's the ope, which is smoked ranch. I don't have to say anything more. It's smoked ranch. It's the smoked ranch flavoring. I don't have to, uh, that's it. 
It doesn't need any additional help beyond that, right? Smoked ranch. Period. Done. That's that's it. That's you don't you don't need any official occur encouragement beyond that. So you can find those spices and a lot more spices, including the Brits blend, which is an amazing taco slash nacho slash uh, chili mix. So that that's the Brits blend. Anything Southwest, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It it, it it and it does not matter. It's great. You can find all that at more at the uh, Mad Canadian BBQ dot com. It's Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Uh, use promo code SLOOPCAST10, SLOOPCAST10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. Mac Canadian Barbecue Company, where they have your butts covered. This episode is also was also brought to you by our good friends over at the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Iron Bean Coffee Company is an Ohio-based company. Uh, they are husband and wife owned. They are USMC veteran and women owned and operated. Uh, one thing that we haven't really talked about here is one thing that they advertise right on their, on their site. Again, that's ironbeancoffee.com. They have the whole shebang sampler. They have just little samplers of, of a variety of that's their, new. of all their uh, coffee beans there. Uh, I don't see exactly which ones are in it. They just said it's a it's... big, oh, here we go. There are 12. There are 12 of them. So uh, it's the Fear No Evil, the Fierce Integrity, Drink from the Skull of Your Enemy, the Odin, Dark Rocco, Thor, Rocco, Ride or Die, Cast Iron, Rage Against the, the Dying of the Light, and the Loki. So you get 12 two and a half ounce packets for only $25. That sounds like a hell of a deal, if you ask me. So check <laughs> out check out the, that great deal and other merch over at ironbeancoffee.com. Again, that is ironbeancoffee.com. America's local coffee roaster. 